we visited Credo environment in May 2021. And in the month of June end on July 1st week, we started with our construction. Hmm. And we finished with our construction and our school building got ready in the month of February 2022. We went live in the month of March with Bridge Course. By the end of last year's uh, academic year, we had... 70. Year. episode of Preschool Diaries. We have yet another very exciting entrepreneur story to share with you. I, I have with me Ms. Umair Razia, who is the who is a woman entrepreneur and the founder of Cutie Pies Preschool, uh, which is an HBR layout. Welcome to our show, ma'am. Sure, ma'am. And we're very excited to have you here and learn a little more about your journey. Uh, so let's start at right at the beginning. I would love to understand what prompted you to get started in this space. What prompted you to start a preschool? Uh, first of all, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be here and be a part of your podcast program. Thank you for the invitation. That's welcome. Uh, honestly, it was my husband's idea to start a preschool. The reason he chose a preschool was he wanted to do something for me. and. As preschool is woman oriented, he chose to start in preschool. Right. First search, the first step, a uh, search landed him to contact Credo. And it was Mr. Naveen who convinced him to start to go with the preschool. And it did not take much time for him to choose. Later, he approached me, he informed me that we are going to start a preschool. At the beginning, I was in a confused state of mind because it was during pandemic. Okay. And starting at a preschool was itself more challenging. Uh, where the situation was, the existing schools were getting closed. Yeah. And only an idea to start a preschool was more challenging. But when we visit Credo environment, we got convinced it was amazing. It was fascinating. And we went with Credo. I started a preschool. Great to hear that. But as a new entrepreneur, do you like to share some thoughts on some of the nervousness, the fears, as well as excitement on what, what goes through your mind in the first yeah. couple of months? Uh, I was a housewife. I was working, but I quit and later I was a housewife for more, around 12 years. And then when my husband told me that you will be in charge of running a preschool, I was excited but nervous too because I asked myself would I be able to run yeah. a preschool because yeah. it is a big responsibility on my shoulders. Yeah. Then I answered myself, yes, why can't I? If I can take care of everything, when I was working, I was getting awards, I was getting appreciation from my clients. Then why can't I? It's a different journey but yes, I have to yeah. make it, I have to give it. Yeah, I feel that it's not about age or it's not about experience. If you have a good determination and passion to start anything, you will go. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, it's you're not alone in the journey. You, you have your family with you. You have uh, somebody like Credo standing behind That's you. That's true. And it is a joint venture in many ways to make the school a success. But uh, but it's great that you did take that step yes. forward during the pandemic. And it's, it's really uh, good to see that. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit more about what the first couple of months after sure. starting the school was like? Uh, sure. It was, as you know, it was during pandemic. But one thing what my husband told us, this COVID-19 will not last long. Yeah. Next year, we might have the education system might change from online classes to offline classes. And this is the time that we have to utilize. Our school building has to get ready. We need to prepare ourselves. Then we have to utilize this time. And I have to thank Credo because uh, you people give us the assurance. Now in life also, if there is someone to tell you, Please don't worry, I am there for you to support. Yeah. So that was the assurance we got it from Credo. You people gave us the confidence to start a preschool. Yeah. So that made us to yeah. be more confident and go with starting with the preschool. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting when you said that despite starting it during the pandemic, it gave you time to prepare. Yes. There is a lot to learn. There's a there's a lot to sort of pick up. And it comes over time, uh, over a period of time. You, I mean, to start it overnight 
uh, it's kind of more challenging and it it's good to give that business the initial time to sort of establish and learn more yourself before it even starts in full flow uh, so uh, would you like to share uh, how the growth path has been i mean you started in 2021 to yes 2022 and uh, how many children are there in school today uh let me start from the beginning we visited pedo environment in may 2021 and in the month of june end on july 1st week we started with our construction hmm. and we finished with our construction and our school building got ready in the month of february 2022 we went live in the month of march with bridge course by the end of last year's uh, academic year we had 70 yes 70 770 and that's like a massive growth story tell us what you did to get the <laughs> that's a bit challenging we have to put in lots of effort yeah and moreover the syllabus what credo has it's amazing i just want to share you my experience when yeah. my when i was looking for uh, my children when they were at the age of 3 years frankly speaking i was not look i did not look for a preschool because the feedback and reviews what i got it from my sisters and cousins they just told me one thing preschool the syllabus is very basic but when i came here when i saw the lab materials books i was amazed the syllabus what you have is much more advanced yeah even my children did not study what they have it in lkg ukg the syllabus what we have it for our children it's much more at once yeah so this is more fascinating even parents feel very excited because we did not study this kind of uh, education when we were at 3 years or 4 years yeah. of age So this looks very amazed, amazing, and it is very exciting. Also, even parents will sometimes say, "No, I wanted to go back to this yeah. age to start with this learning." Thank you so much, and I think that's something that we constantly tell all. Of course, all our partner uh, schools are very excited, and that's the reason they join the Pedo uh, family. Uh, but it is very important early education. I just want to highlight here for all our viewers as well that early education is something that. Uh, a lot of us have taken very lightly over the past That's years true. and we're glad to see that a lot more seriousness has come into this uh, understanding has come into this that if you give the child a fundamentally strong base in life that for lifetime that child finds uh, learning much easier parents also start understanding the importance of um, early education so any thoughts from your parents how how are they reacting to early education earlier when they see the books they feel that is it that my child has to study so much yeah so we convince them please don't worry on that it's not the same methodology what the teaching methodology has changed yeah the children will learn with practical learning they learn with the materials and then they go into the books and this process makes them easy and it's good that no we are not taking we have to utilize children's smartness they are smart enough to grasp everything yeah and even i tell this to all the parents please don't take it lightly yeah it's not preschool hey it's only about learning a b c d or 1 2 3 it's much more than that yeah it's not to mean a b c d there's so much to learn with a b c d only yeah. so instead we have phonics we have numbers we have to give that liberty for the children to yeah. explore their learning yeah. this is what i tell to all the parents yeah. just don't take it for granted yeah yeah if this is serious it's yeah. not no it's not only about a b c d you yeah. have to yeah like they say child play serious work yes. so it is it is a serious business for all of us it it is good for the child but it's something we must give that importance That's that they deserve the child is ready what can we do for yes. the child is what we have to ask ourselves and the children surprise us every day with how we learn so many things yeah them. they how much they can learn and how how capable they are below the age of 6 so it's often that we also tell parents to say to watch their children closely and just see how much ability they have to learn even if we don't do anything so if we do something how much more can the child absorb and how beautifully they learn is something that i think uh, only preschool or the learn <laughs> and kind of we feel very passionate about it and it's something that excites us on a day to day uh basis uh, do you want to share any one maybe story of uh, any child's learning that really caught your attention sure. uh it was when we started our school there were children who missed their nursery and lkg yeah so they were really according to their age they were supposed to be in level 3 that is ukg and they had learned in the traditional way of a for a b for ball they yeah. know all the capital letters but when they join here they have to start with small case letters 
And very soon, those children who were not aware of the phonic sounds, they were able to read a menu card. Lovely. If we see our children coming at this level, that way in one year, yeah. not even a year, just in few months, she's going to that extent. Yeah. Then we should absolutely. I think yeah, it's a lot of pride that, uh, and we feel very happy when entrepreneurs share their stories with us. Say, uh, you know, to just see that outcome of the work that has gone in. Uh, so, just on a slightly different track, in terms of uh, for a lot of the entrepreneurs who are starting in, of course, one thing is just the excitement of a new business, also the nervousness setting it up, uh, but. But after that, of course, comes the numbers game, right? So in terms of how successful can you be? What are your thoughts on our own preschool as a business? Okay, yes, definitely. Uh, first thing what we have to understand is whatever investment we do it to set up a preschool at an initial stage, we will get returns, but we have to be patient. Yeah. It's not an, on an immediate basis. Yeah. We have to wait for some time and we have to put in all the quality products. It, when it comes to um, uh, good ambience, infrastructure, furniture, even the resources, what we should have, we should have a good quality. Yeah. And only then we can be able to build a good brand. Yes. And a few years later, we can have a quality brand of a school. Yeah. And for this to achieve all this, we need to have some patience and we need to give us consistency. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a sign of success for you as well. When we hear the story of growing from literally zero to 70 within a year, uh, it, it can only come with quality. It can only come with a certain commitment and dedication that you have shown to your school and parents see that. They know when an entrepreneur is genuinely doing the best for their children uh, and uh, you know they have conviction in the product, which is the school. It, it really makes a difference. Uh, we've seen more most of our entrepreneurs start breaking even the minute they have 30, 40 children. Yes, they may not make excessive money, but at least they start recovering whatever they have invested in. And if they can get to those 30, 40 number fast enough um, by offering good quality, I think that that's really a very exciting part of the journey to go from zero to 40 children, your first 30, yes. 40, because they become your brand ambassadors. And literally, when those parents go and tell 10 other parents, Look, the school has really done well for my so child. This has happened to us. Yeah. It's like if we have one child out from a family, all the family members will send their children to us. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the word of mouth. Yes. So uh, just going back a little bo more to the cost as well, in terms of, um, would you tell uh, a lot of the women entrepreneurs out there who are, you know, wanting to get into this space uh, that yes, at the end of the day, it's a healthy business, of course, but also very healthy from a profitability standpoint for uh, preschools. Yes. Um, yes. So do you use the space for anything other than running the preschool right After now? After school hours, we do have daycare. Okay. Uh, we are planning to have some abacus classes, right. yoga classes. We have even come up with a badminton court in the fourth floor. Oh, wow. So we can say. And we are planning to have some uh, math class for our children because we want to give a proper school. Right. When it comes to sports, we want to give the proper drill, march pass. Though they are small, but they will do it. Yeah. We are the ones who think, how can these small children can do march pass? Yeah. But it's happening. Yeah. We and and you have, of course, plans to grow further as yes. well, I believe, uh, not just as a preschool, but maybe as a someday as a school going forward. Sure. So, you want to share your dream or vision for your yes. school? Uh, what I believe is, every year we need to go to the next level. Last year, whatever we did, this year we need to go to the next level in terms of everything, in terms of education, in terms of activities, whatever programs we do conduct, we have to go to the next level. Yeah. Oh, the next year we have to go level, uh, climb the to twice the level up. Yeah. This is why, and we are trying to have more number of Cutie Pies Academy in the coming years. Lovely. So, when do you? What is in your mind? I know it's a long way ahead, but how how do you plan to expand? Any thoughts on your vision of for yourself? We are looking in the areas where there are less number of preschools, yes. somewhere in the places where it is quite far, where only big schools are there, not the right. preschools. Not the preschools, right? Yeah, and I think this is something we also tell a lot of our uh, our preschool partners, at least that uh, because you're able to run a quality school and get to the once you get to the first 
successful school um, even if it's even if it's not a pan india or a global chain uh, those small chains of schools that are within the city and building a brand within a city itself with multiple bra- branches uh, i think that's a very very powerful way of growing for preschool entrepreneurs uh, and it's great to see if you're one of our partner schools that's taking those baby steps forward to kind of multiply their brand within the city uh, and maybe even go upwards class 1 to which both horizontal and vertical expansion is possible for all our preschool uh, owners and uh, i think that's something that we at credo sort of uh, keep for us the vision has always been how do we support these schools to grow uh, they need to grow on their journey so we take care of certain things at the back end so that you all can focus on actually the brand building exercises and taking education to the child uh, while we focus more in terms of just providing the base for the education you are in the delivery products our vision has we always been to help great entrepreneurs succeed even more uh, so anything that you want to share with entrepreneurs in terms of uh, what do they do to take that first step forward sure uh, first thing is to believe in yourself yeah you ha- you should believe in yourself that you have you should have that confidence that yes i can do it then if we have people like credo where they will give back and support everything then we have to study the look uh, area when they want to start a preschool and rest of the things yeah like marketing digital marketing i think we have people yes we do all you know of course we help with all these areas of just helping entrepreneurs set that base uh, one of the first few things that you yes. really need to do and and, uh, and of course our credo as uh, you know we always believe that uh, we have 150 million children below the age of 6 in india <laughs> that's so amazing. every area has potential uh, it may have more competition or less competition of course every area has its own yes. number of schools Uh, but a quality school will always stand out even if you start in the middle of another school that's true uh, you know i'm sure in your area yes. you must be having ask hundreds of schools so many ask for discernment by all pre schools yes. no yeah. explore other schools when they come to our school that is the uh, best part that they will tell you yeah. know oh, i had been to such schools but no the i like this i like this yeah. the atmosphere the teachers everything yeah. i want to go with this yeah and i think that's the beauty of a uh, preschool business uh, you may have i know there have been we've, we've done surveys where there are roads where sometimes there are 25 preschools in just a 2 km radius hardly but out of which three or four will always be very very successful because they stand for quality and they stand for learning and every parent today i think especially post pandemic is looking for that activity based learning school which they know somewhere at the back of their head that this is good for my child so being able to offer and for credo that has been very important being able to offer you know activity based learning education education which parents also understand now has been the best way to build this is a need of yeah the art. yeah and i think post pandemic we've seen a lot more of that which has been great to see we know a lot of preschools shut down during the yes. pandemic and we were so happy when a large percentage of our partner schools survived not just survived flourished after that and grew so well so it's about i think the resilience uh, of the entrepreneur being strong and waiting for your time and it will come you know apna apna samay aayega na all the way so uh, it's it's been great to hear this part of the journey it's been just great hearing a story from yet another successful entrepreneur and uh, i hope a lot of our listeners take the sort of uh step forward after hearing these stories that's the idea we get we get tons of uh inbound requests from entrepreneurs across india who are passionate about education and want to start a good school and for us that's the aim to try and take uh, you know quality early education to every part of the country and have more it's not we are not going to be the people delivering at the end of yes. the day it's the entrepreneurs who deliver the education so our aim of course is to support that so it's been great hearing the entire story the initial part of it where you start with that excitement and the nervousness uh, i think the first two three months the way you'll have um, you know waited and patiently come out of it stronger during the pandemic that's that's amazing to hear and after which the growth of i'm sure you've had a lot of uh, stories to share every one of the first two months in terms of 
learning how the children learn you know learning to uh, understand parents better learning to partner with parents better and building you know a successful brand uh, so thank you so much for being here i i really genuinely wish we see a lot more cutie pies across <laughs> the island and a lot more of the nooks and corners and uh, wish you uh, you know all the all the very best in thank your journey so and and hope freedo stays with you in every step of the way back thank you, you so much it's been a great support from freedo yes. for us to establish a preschool thank you so much for watching the entire the episode i'm sure you enjoyed ms umeraza's uh, journey uh, and uh, I'm sure you're inspired by the cutie pie story. So thank you for listening in. If you like this, please do like and subscribe to our channel. 